Hello there. Just a quick video to show some of the stuff I've done to uh, my 5.3 uh, generation 4 V8 installed in 81 Firebird Trans Am. Uh, start with, I can always start with the alternator. Uh, some of the stuff is not, uh, it's only temporary. I will uh, make things look a little uh, cleaner later on. Um, the alternator is the original alternator I used off my uh, first gen 305 uh, V8. What I did, I took the original alternator bracket, modified it, which I ground it down slightly, and then I just added this little section here uh, to hold the alternator. Uh, other than that, the alternator fit perfectly. Uh, no modifications really. Other than back here on the bracket, line the alternator, I had to grind it down just to move the alternator back towards the engine or the, towards the um, the firewall, uh, one eighth of an inch. Uh, I took the um, pulley off the original alternator. Uh, that way, my uh, original alternator wiring actually fits. Um, my original sensor wire for my dash temperature. Uh, what I did, I just grabbed the original sensor off my uh, 81 Firebirds engine, I drilled and tapped it here, and now I didn't have to modify anything. This is the original wire off my Trans Am. Uh, since I'm down here, the uh, power steering. What I did, I bought the power steering hose off the 2000H Chevy Silverado. I just uh, modified the end and I added a fitting to, because uh, uh, this is metric and mine standard. And uh, what I did, I just uh, flared the end, added my own um, uh, nut fitting, I guess, whatever you want to call that there. And uh, flared it, whatever, installed it, and it works awesome. All I had to do was add a, a bigger washer, or O-ring, I should say, so it would seal. So it would seal, and I never had a leak. Uh, here I installed Shorty stainless steel headers, and uh, the headers are a little close to my spark plug wires there, so I just made sure nothing got melted or whatever. So I added the the heat wrap, but only on this side. Uh, Right now my MSD is hooked up to the original location on uh, on the engine here and uh, this wiring is just temporarily, that's for my laptop and uh, this beige color is actually kind of ugly looking but like I say everything on the engine is uh, like t it's temporarily permanently mounted but <laughs> uh, it's because I, I just ordered uh, 98 to 2002 uh, Camaro oil pan as the engine sits a little high and uh, or actually well the engine sits high but I mean the oil pan actually sits low and my car has a two inch drop kit and uh, the oil pan uh, is quite low to the ground and actually uh, I actually bought them out once or maybe twice with it but the roads are bad in the area so just to make sure okay, the car never rubbed before so by buying a Camaro oil pan, I will eliminate this problem. Uh, this hose here was my original hose from my uh, my Trans Am, never for um, from my uh, Gen One three hundred five. Uh, what I did, I cut it and I added pipe in the middle. But that's like I say, that's just temporarily. That's why I had to add a couple of clamps because uh, <laughs> it's still leaking. Because inside there's a steel bar. It's a very heavy duty hose. But the, the steel bar inside prevents me from sealing this section here. So I have to buy another hose. Uh, likely buy the original and just cut it make it fit. Um, like I say, there's a lot of temporary stuff, wiring, whatever. Uh, uh, I've got a lot of projects on the go and this is one of them. Uh, some people have been asking me about my steam vent pipe. Here it is here. Okay. This comes down, and what I did is I drilled and tapped it to my water pump. So 
that's what it is that's what you see down there again temporarily uh, temporary things are hooked up there I'll buy a better hose later and clean up the engine bay a little bit later on uh, as for the fan I got a relay uh, back here like I say look at all the wiring kind of loose and uh, ugly looking but like I say temporarily just like my air filter um, what I did I installed an electric fan down there uh, it's hard to see there electric fan down there there we go there you hear uh, what I did I bought a, a sensor and I hooked it, hooked it up to this pipe and what it does uh, kicks on I believe at uh, 200 or 210 degrees and shuts off uh, I forget what it is but my engine usually the fan doesn't go on a lot too often uh, it stays at 195 pretty well the whole time as long as I'm, uh, I'm moving but I had a problem recently. My rad leaks, has a little leak, and because my rad was low when I started it uh, last week, um, the sensor being high up, well, there was no fluid in here. So by not having fluid, everything stays cool and the fin wouldn't kick on. So I will actually grab this and either mount it on the block or move it somewhere else. So it's just. Uh, just something to keep in mind that up there is actually a bad spot unless like I say if your rad's not leaking then it's fine uh, my rad's going to be repaired shortly and uh, I will eliminate that and like I say the engine is going to be mounted permanently once I get my oil pan which hopefully I get it within the next uh, maybe 10 days and then hopefully earlier and uh, as for my as for my uh, air filter, that's all temporary stuff because I've had the hole cut out, you know, for my shaker scoop, and right now uh, it just sits way, way too high, and I, I don't really want to go with a cowl induction hood. So once the engine sits exactly where I want it, uh, I will modify that to make it fit my shaker scoop. Um, Here's my gauge for my uh, my fuel pump. My fuel pump's in the back. It's a Mighty Might, and so far it's been pretty good. Uh, my engine has a stumble, but I think I might. I never played with my timing yet, and those MSD boxes are have too much timing, so I will have to uh, uh, I will have to um, uh, play with uh, play with the MSD timing there with my laptop and uh, do some trial runs. Um, my fuel pump right now is hooked up pretty well with the ignition, which is a bad thing. But back here, you probably see a sensor. Uh, let me see, right here, there's a sensor. That's the original sensor of my uh, 5 liter Gen 2 uh, Firebird engine. Um, I will be ordering a new one, as this one here is actually faulty. And uh, what I'll, I'll be doing is hooking up a uh, sensor so if my oil pressure, like a safety switch, so if my oil pressure uh, drops below, let's say, five, uh, 5 pounds of pressure or 7 pounds of pressure, my fuel pump will actually shut off. So uh, anyways, just a quick little video just to show what, what I have done so far. And like I say, some stuff is just temporary. Uh, looks kind of crappy a little bit there. Uh, but I'm happy that it's uh, finally in my car. Uh, car runs really, really nice, except for when I floor it. Uh, it's just, it's got that stumble. So anyways, once I fix that, maybe I'll uh, put up another video and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching.